If you have a Squarespace website and you are walking through my pre-launch checklist, welcome back. If you don't have a copy of the checklist, I'll drop a link in the description below so you can grab it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and style an announcement bar for the top of your Squarespace website. This is perfect if you have something that you want to highlight on your website or an important notice you want to share when someone comes to your website. All right, I am here in my Sway template for service providers. If you are interested in jumpstarting your own website design and you like this template, I'll drop a link below to my template shop so you can check it out. Now, this template already has an announcement bar, and that is the line here at the very top. So if I click this, I have it set to go to my Squarespace template shop. Okay, so first of all, where can we find the announcement bar settings? If you've used Squarespace before, they have moved. They used to be under marketing, but no more. Now they are under pages, website tools, announcement bar. And I'll show you a couple of other ways to find this just in case it moves again. All right, when you are logged into your website and you see this website menu panel on the left, if you click the search icon, you can start typing announcement bar and it will take you there. And just like I showed you in the other videos on the pre-launch checklist, if you click the forward slash key on your keyboard, you can also search from there. So if it moves again, no fear, you have ways to track it down. So I'm here in the announcement bar. You'll notice that this is locked and it says upgrade. That means that the announcement bar is available only on business plans and higher. So if you have a personal plan on Squarespace, you can't use the announcement bar unless you upgrade your plan. But this is just for demo purposes. So it is in trial and we can still see the announcement bar and it still works even though I've not paid for hosting yet on this trial. So when you come to announcement bar here, the default state is disable announcement bar. You can drag that down to enable the announcement bar, type anything you would like into this window. So once you have it enabled, you can write any text here you would like. Mine says this is a premium template for Squarespace, click here to purchase. And I want the entire announcement bar to be clickable. And you can choose to have it open in the same window or in a new window. Or instead of having the whole thing clickable, if you just wanna make part of your announcement bar clickable, you can do that by using this link icon and then dropping in your URL here. And again, we can have that open in a new window and apply. So now it is underlined and it looks like a link. So you can either have the entire bar clickable or just some of the words, either way. All right, let's look at how to style the announcement bar in terms of fonts and colors. So I'm going to click edit here and go into the site styles, which is the paintbrush icon. Now to change the font for the announcement bar, I will go into fonts, assign styles, and then click announcement bar. And here you can completely customize this if you would like. So let's say I want all uppercase or I want a different font family. You can do anything you'd like there to change the font and then just save it. I'm going to exit because I want to leave mine the way it was. And then we're going to change color in a very similar way. So I'll go ahead and click colors here. The announcement bar color is always set based on the first color theme of your site. So here lightest one is my header. And so I'm going to use lightest one to change the color of my announcement bar. If my header was transparent, it would be based on the first section on whatever page I'm on. So your announcement bar could actually change colors throughout your website, depending on how you have it set up. But for me, it's always going to be the same because my header is lightest one. It's not transparent. So I'm going to hop into my section color themes here and scroll down until I find the announcement bar. And you can see here that the background is set as the second color in my palette. I can make it a different color, and then I can also change the color of the text to make it stand out. So there you have it. If you wanna keep those changes, hit save. If not, click exit. And that is how you enable and set up and style your announcement bar in Squarespace. If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up as it helps other people discover my videos. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best with your website.